wondering with, with us versus them um, and Black Lives Matter here, I, I get the sense that the, the general public or, or a number of people sort of boil down Black Lives Matter and the police as sort of these two forces. I'm curious, because truly the origins do relate to police brutality um, and, a, and the black community. So to what extent um, does that oversimplify the issue and to what extent does that also kind of define things? Um, you, I think you, um, you just described it in a nutshell, you know, the. Um, Police officers have an incredible responsibility. You know, they put their lives in danger every day, but their job is to protect and serve, you know, once again, all of their neighbors. And we're a spiritual organization, and we believe that when you are disobedient to God's law, which we believe is to love everyone, once again, regardless of the way they look, pray, or dress, when you're disobedient to God's laws, bad things happen. And so, you know, I've seen situations, I saw a guy on TV the other day who had a gun. Um, it was a video, I think it was on Facebook. He was a white guy with a gun, and he had his hand on the gun, and it was an obviously threatening kind of posture, and the police officers walked up to him, and they talked to him, and, you know, they got him to take his hand off his gun, and then they, um, you know, they handcuffed him, they didn't rough him up at all, and they, they put him in the car, and you know, they took them to the police station. We believe that there's a lot of situations where it could be handled exactly the same with minorities, but that there, and we believe that there are situations where the police handle minorities that way. But once again, it's not about the police in general. It's about the handful of rogue police officers. So it's not Black Lives Matter versus the police. It's Black Lives Matter demanding that the police hold their own accountable. And again, we're just talking about a handful of people. And since I have this, I wanna say one more thing um, that came to me about, you know, Donald Trump, he wants to make this nation great again. And when I think of Donald Trump wanting to make the nation great again, to me it sounds like he wants us to be better than other nations. And he wants us to believe that we're better than other people. And as soon as you start to tell yourself that you're better than other people, that's when division starts. America needs to focus on becoming a moral nation instead of a great nation, a nation where everyone can be happy and where everyone loves each other. And I don't know who wants this next.